Hey guys, it's John from Album Review TV. Today I'm reviewing an Omen EP by the band How to Destroy Angels. They're a super group of sorts composed of Nine Inch Nails founder Trent Reznor along with his wife, Mary Queen Mandig, I believe that's how you pronounce that, as well as Atticus Ross, who had previously collaborated with Reznor on the Social Network score, and also Rob Sheridan, who's in charge of art direction. Now, the supergroup originally formed in 2010, released an EP then. Um, honestly, I never really heard of the group until the hype surrounding the An Omen EP just kind of surfaced, and I was like, hmm, I like Trent Reznor, but I never really got around to checking out the EP until a little bit after its release. And honestly, the first listen, I wasn't really too into it, but I listened to it again and again and it started really growing on me and it's something that's very dark at times uh, a lot of it is instrumental and it just takes you to a kind of a different realm and it's like Trent Reznor is kind of trying to take the next step forward for Nine Inch Nails under a different name now Reznor claims that he is still working on material for Nine Inch Nails it's been four years since the last Nine Inch Nails project The Slip came out and, you know, a lot of fans are looking for something to tide them over. And I think that this is honestly something that really can tide you over until something new, Nine Inch Nails, comes out. Now, Reznor does provide some of the vocals on some of the tracks on this album, but his wife handled a lot of the vocal duties, a lot of the lead vocal duties on this album. Now, one of my favorites on the album that's grown into one of my favorites is Ice Age. That song is the longest on the album, clocks in and just over seven minutes long and it's just very dark. It takes you to a different place instrumentally. It just sounds like very raw, um, something that you almost sound like you're listening to live. The vocals are just kind of chilling from Mary Queen on this track in particular. Keep It Together is the first single that was released off of the album. Reznor does do some of the vocals here on this track. It's not my overall favorite, but it is one of my favorites. But one song I really wanted to point out in particular is The Loop Closes. A lot of people compare it to Closer off of the 1994 album The Downward Spiral by Nine Inch Nails, saying it's a ripoff of Reznor's own other project, but I don't see that being the case here. I see it as being a very creative song, and yes, there are some similarities between the track. I'm not going to deny that. I think the way that most people are probably comparing it is the way the instrumentation kind of builds up from something slower and just gets very loud towards the end, but it's two entirely different things. There's no vocals at the beginning of this track, but when they do come in, they're very dark and just chilling to me. Reznor does the vocals on this song, and the beginning is the end. It keeps coming around again, and I just like the way it's repeated and the build-up in this song is epic. Best song on the EP, for sure. On the Wing is another one of my favorites. That one was well done as well. I'd have to say that The Loop Closes, On the Wing, Ice Age, and Keep It Together are my four favorites. The two tracks that don't really do anything too much for me are The Sleep of Reason Produces Monsters and Speaking in Tongues. Um, those two tracks aren't bad, but they're just not really captivating me, not catching my attention too much. And... You know, they're still solid in their own aspects, but they're just kind of dull to me at times. Now, what do you guys think of this? Do you like Trent Reznor's other projects better? Are you just happy to see him working on something again? This was released under Columbia Records, unlike they thought it was going to be released independently. But still very interesting to me. Overall, this EP is pretty solid. It definitely takes a few listens maybe to get into it. But I would suggest you guys checking it out if you like Nine Inch Nails, kind of industrial style music mixed with some electronics and even alternative feel to it. Um, it's, it's interesting. That's what I can say for it. 3.5 out of 5 is my rating for this EP. Full length album coming sometime in 2013 from How to Destroy Angels. Some of the tracks from this An Omen EP is going to be on the full length, so I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to be interesting. And, of course... Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon.